Welcome to know I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm Bert Bursch. Uh, people have been getting their pennies all in a twist all weekend long over Sony's newly discovered a attempt to trademark the term Let's Play. And since we, you know, are the purveyors of the eponymous Let's Play channel on YouTube, we're getting asked about it a lot. So, a lot. let's talk about it. A bit of background. This weekend, a user at NeoGAF discovered that Sony filed an application for a trademark on the term Let's Play. And if you're thinking, oh, there's no way they mean that kind of Let's Play. Maybe it's just, you know, for a marketing campaign or something like that. The trademark specifically covers, quote, electronic transmission and streaming of video games via global and local computer networks, which sounds much closer to the online video version of Let's Play and a lot less like slogan used for marketing purposes. God bless you for constantly trawling through patents, NeoGAF. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do In it. God's work. Uh, the trademark was filed by Sony Computer Entertainment America back in October and seems to want to completely co-opt the community's common use of the phrase. This is awfully reminiscent of Nintendo having fan videos removed to protect its IP, only this seems to be taking things a little bit further by laying claims to an entire genre of entertainment online. That wasn't exactly a good look for Nintendo, and quite frankly, Sony, it's not looking much better on you. Of course, there's tons of speculation about what Sony is actually aiming to achieve with this trademark. It could point to an attempt to rebrand Sony's streaming functionality on the PS4 Makes or sense. perhaps unroll another type of streaming service called Let's Play to users. But on the surface, it looks like either kind of a dick move or super out of touch. Now, before everyone gets crazy worried that YouTubers are going to have to change their videos from Let's Play to Let's Pay Zing. Sony, there Sony. are a few other factors to consider about how trademarks actually work. For one, trademarks aren't the same thing as patents, which give a company exclusive rights to sell or produce a particular invention. It's not copyright either, which protects an original work of authorship. A trademark exists completely to protect the name of a brand from confusion by competitors. It's why Pepsi can't create a soda called Coca-Cola Sucks, as much as they would probably like to do that. Uh, the simple version. If you make a game and somebody blatantly uses the same art and assets from it, that's copyright infringement. Right. If you invent a new technology to experience a game and someone steals it, replicates, and then sells it as their own product, that violates a patent. If you've trademarked a line of Beast Killer video games and someone produces their own games and names them Beast Killer, that's a trademark dispute. And if somebody ignores all of the above, that's piracy. <laughs> Since we're dealing with trademarks, it means Sony is probably doing this to prevent anyone else, say Nintendo or Microsoft, from creating a rival service around streaming, also called Let's Play. Again, probably because they want to use it themselves, not because they're hoping to charge YouTubers for every gameplay video they post online. However, if they did manage to acquire the trademark, it would technically be within their rights to try to take another company or brand to court to protect their trademark and the identity of their brand. For instance, they could decide that a badass Let's Play channel, you know, like a YouTube channel sure. with 3 million plus subscribers causes confusion with their Let's Play product or service. But even if they did decide to try to do that, which they shouldn't, that would still be an uphill battle. Yeah, before they even get that far, you have to look at how likely it is for Sony to get the trademark. And at the moment, the answer is not very. On December 29th, the U.S. Patent Office gave a non-final ruling on the matter, rejecting the application on the grounds that Sony's attempted trademark was too similar to a currently registered trademark, LP Let's Play. Let's Play. Let's Play, with a Z. According to the Patent Office, LP Let's Play's services <laughs> uh, provide online and offline opportunities for video game enthusiasts to meet for tournaments and they say that's way too similar to what Sony wants to register their trademark for. Sony now has six months to dispute the USPTO's refusal if they want to acquire the trademark, or buy that company because that happens sometimes too. Sure does. Sony might actually have grounds for a dispute here. Considering that their trademark revolves around streaming services as opposed to gathering of gamers for tournaments, it might be something they could argue is different entirely from the current LP Let's Play trademark to grab for themselves. After all, we've seen crazier things happen with trademark approvals. Remember when King trademarked the word candy a couple of years ago? Yeah, if you need your memory refreshed because you like to block out things that are really stupid, King, the makers of Candy Crush, were approved to trademark the term candy against all use in video games. Video games. They even started enforcing this, hitting up small developers to change the name of their games if they had the word candy in them at all. The backlash to that was sweet and severe, with several indie developers holding a candy jam in protest specifically to create games with the word candy in the title. Eventually, King withdrew their U.S. trademark for the term. Unfortunately, it wasn't because David beat Goliath. He only withdrew it because they acquired the rights to Candy Crusher, 
which was their big problem in the US market. Uh -huh. Money always solves things. The word candy is already theirs in Europe where they do hold that copyright. They also filed a trademark the word saga. So there really wasn't a single lesson learned at all as evidenced when they went after Stoic's tactical RPG, the Banner Saga, claiming it could be confused with one of their line of match three mobile games. You wish, King. You <laughs> wish that Banner Saga was, like, your games were more like Banner Saga. They don't need to wish, they have the courts on their side. And then Activision bought them for $6 billion, so now they're all filthy rich. Once again, Karma, you have failed us miserably. Thank you very much. But uh, you say Sony's been so in tune with gamers, surely they wouldn't be that overprotective about their own brand, would they? Yeah, remember when they sued their own spokesperson, Kevin Butler, for playing a Nintendo Wii in a Bridgestone Tire ad? Remember that? When that suit was filed, they claimed that the actor, Jerry Lambert's appearance in the ad using a rival product would create confusion around their brand and was also a copyright infringement of the Kevin Butler character. They ended up settling that one oh. privately, with Lambert unable to appear in any ads with any video games or video game systems for two years. So Sony has had a precedent of going after people who cause confusion for their brand and could theoretically use that against video content they don't like, theoretically, okay? Okay, but let's say you get the trademark for the term Let's Play. Would they have a leg to stand on if they went after notable communities or personalities, ahem, that already use the term Let's Play? Now, part of what makes trademark disputes a mucky business is the idea of prior use. Mm -hmm. According to Section 7C of the Trademark Act, holding a trademark gives priority of the trademarked phrase or word to the registrant, accepting parties who were already using the term before the registration took place. Which in this case is almost every single person on the internet. Dr. Pepper holds the Let's Play domain, while a certain other ridiculously awesome company <laughs> owns the previously mentioned badass YouTube channel named Let's Play. That's us guys, in case you missed the clues that we were We've there. been pretty subtle. And not only that, but the phrase is something that has been adopted by an entire community of creators. Right, if Sony really wanted to, and it seems unlikely, they could go after any YouTube personality using the term, but not only would it cost them the goodwill they've been enjoying so much, it would probably get shut down by the courts thanks to all that prior use. But all of this is really just speculation until Sony says what they want the trademark for, which they have not done yet. So Let's far, I mean, well, it's, the speculation is running between a marketing campaign, it's running between they want to own Let's Plays, a or they're launching a streaming service, all of that. But again, until Sony makes an actual statement, it's all educated guessing, or not so educated guessing. Even if Sony cases. says they were gonna use it for a limited purpose, that would be suspect, but they're not even giving us what that limited purpose is. They're just saying, all we know for a fact is that they filed for a trademark on the term Let's Play as a whole for electronic transmission of video games. That's it. Let's Plays actually got their origin from the Something Awful forum. The first documented Let's Play was when forum goers did a playthrough of Oregon Trail together back in 2006. In January 2007, the first Let's Play video was created by Slowbeef and was a playthrough of Super Metroid for the SNES. It blew up from there, but internet history shows that gamers collectively have been making and creating Let's Plays for nearly a decade before Sony decided to try and trademark it. So regardless of what their usage is, it's gonna be tough. Uh, the trademark application is something to keep an eye on, but not panic about just yet. The application's already been declined, and even if Sony appeals the application and wins, they risk losing the goodwill of their audience and a bunch of costly, unlikely legal battles trying to defend that trademark against a community that's been using it for years already. Uh, it's more likely Sony would want to use this to keep competitors like Microsoft and Nintendo from doing anything in that space, but even that's pretty shaky ground. Sony, stick to filing more fun trademarks. You know, like when that Days Gone trademark you filed at the end of 2015 came about, and we were all thinking that could be Last of Us related. That would be nice. Either that, or it's been still unannounced and rumored open world horror game. Whatever it also is, nice. that's the trademark stuff we want to talk about, unless you figure out a way to let us download pizza from the internet, in which case we will absolutely cover that day one. Day zero. Oh, what do you guys Day think? Pizza. <laughs> Day pizza. What do you guys think of Sony's filing to trademark the term "Let's Play"? Do you think they've got a shot at getting it to pass? Uh, would you download a pizza? I would. I would download a pizza. I would also download a car, just so you know. I Let us know where you stand in the comments. Very dangerous. For more information about Sony's upcoming trademarks and the future status of Let's Plays, like this video and subscribe to the Know. And hey, while you're at it, why don't you go subscribe to the Let's Play channel? You know, if you aren't already. We'll show Sony who's boss. Yeah, stick it to the man. Subscribe to Let's Play. What do you think, Gus? Subscribe. S subscribe? Sony, I'm just saying, if the price is right, we'll just sell you the Let's Play channel. Go nuts. So, what, $2? $1 dollars. <laughs> <laughs>